Hi, my name's Ethna Farry and this is my book, Lovely Things to Make for Girls of Slender Means. My main message is, don't fear the sewing machine. Even though you may think in your head that sewing is a nightmare and you need loads of high-tech skills, you don't. You can make things with a low-fi way for not much money, which will be the envy of all your friends, and you get to use loads of sequins, what could be better. I like to make these kind of corsages to grace the neck of a very plain summer dress. They look very, very intricate, but actually they're just made out of a series of circles. What you need to start is a piece of nice fabric, a handy compact disc, which you're going to use as your template, a piece of tailor's chalk, and then you get drawing. On your fabric, put down your compact disc, draw around it with a tailor's chalk and draw loads and loads and loads of circles and with your nice snippy dressmaking scissors cut the circles out. Um, I'm estimating that you need a minimum of about 26 but if you want a bigger corsage with more sort of puffiness cut out more circles. Once you've cut out all of your circles the first thing that you're going to do is put one down flat. Then well, the next four circles, you're going to fold them in half. Um, this bit's a bit tricky, but it's very simple once you've started. So you put the first half circle that way, the next half circle that way, so you've covered up your first circle, then the next two circles go this way. Then, with a needle and thread, put a little stitch at the heart to keep those little um, semicircles in place. With four more circles, you're going to fold them into quarters. So half, then half again. With these four circles, you're going to kind of rotate them on the circle. Again, very carefully, at each little edge, put a tiny stitch just to hold them in place. So once you've done that, all you're doing with the rest of your circles is folding them into four and building up until eventually you get this sort of shape. That's all of your circles nicely folded and then sewn. Pinch them together at the back with your needle and thread. Put a few stitches through like this. keep it in place and with a brooch back which you can buy in any craft shop or haberdashery store neatly sew that onto there and then attach it to your dress. Now that you've seen how easy it is go to the book for lots more brilliant ideas. There's stuff to make for all budgets, all abilities and all seasons and there's guaranteed to be something that you're going to find lovely to make.